Uh, joined by Padma Shri, Mr. Pallad Rama Rao, who served as the former director of the Defence Research and Development Organisation, who also became the youngest project director at the age of 35, leading the Akash program. The Akash Missile Defence System has come into focus in wake of Operation Sindur with the short-range surface-to-air missile that successfully intercepted waves of Pakistani drones and missiles along the western border. The Akash project, which spanned 15 years, involved over a thousand scientists and numerous labs across the country, all under Dr. Rama Rao's leadership. Sir, appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much for being here. We are honored and privileged that you are here with us. First up, sir, I would like to congratulate you. Thank you. I Thanks would like to lot. congratulate you, sir, for creating the syst a system which has defended the nation uh, it has protected us against the enemy and made uh, the concept of making India proud. How did you feel when you saw your creation? And you also described in your own words, your babies protecting India <laughs> from enemy fire. Yeah, it was a very thrilling moment. But at the same time, it was almost a choking moment, you know. When I heard it was working well, I literally choked. I couldn't say anything to my wife. She was standing next to me. She said, kya hua, kya hua? I didn't know how to explain. I said uh, something I can't believe. It's going so well. And uh, people are calling me. And uh, our ex work of 15, 20 years has uh, yield the fruits. And I'm so happy. I think I told, in fact, I told her this is uh, for me the biggest day, happiest day in my life. And I think uh, this gave me, gives me more than, more happiness than I got my Padma Award, I told her. <laughs> So th that's so fabulous. Nice so I, we, yeah. we, we feel equally happy for you and we feel equally happy with you, sir. So second question, you have also said that uh, Dr. Kalam had a <clears throat> big role to play in the way you went about, uh, you know, uh, creating these uh, defense systems for our country and the inspiration that you got. I also read that you feel there should be 10 Kalams today who can lead the nation <laughs> To the next world sir if i can request you to please keep your phone a little away from your face so we can see you properly yeah that's it sir that's the perfect angle go on sir see um, you know I, as you i told you i was a very young man uh, trying to understand the the enormities of uh, making a missile system and uh, that too in the india has no previous background of developing a missile number one number two the industries are nowhere geared up to do subsystems or software or hardware. Nothing was there. So it was an enormous task. I was not very sure that I can really digest everything and take the lead forward. And I had about 1,000 scientists reporting to me uh, from more than 10 laboratories. And uh, uh, mo many are much older to me. So very few are younger to me. Most of the scientists who are managers system managers, project managers, all are older to me. So I was a little nervous in the beginning, but Dr. Kalam stood by me. He said, buddy, don't worry, I am with you. You do a good job and we, we don't want this to fail. That's why we have given you almost 15 years for the project to come through and you do it, I will be with you. So that way we took it. And uh, fortunately, uh, Dr. Kalam was... Uh, a project director himself for the SLV project at ISRO. So he, she gave a guidance, how do you do phase-wise development of components to subsystems, to systems, to major system, ground system. He gave a guideline and he gave a template of various stages of reviewing the progress and then taking it forward for a system. That gave a strong foundation, and even now, even now, I follow that uh, template what he gave, and I share it with all my young friends who are now deputy project directors or project director, program directors. I tell them this is what mantra Kalam told, success mantra, kindly follow, follow the leader. And I think uh, that's, that has stood by me, and uh, most of successes, or because of that. And we had minimum failures and uh, we did 60 flight trials and more, not more than three or four were uh, not, did not go through. Otherwise, 57 were successful flight tests. 
before mm. we announced to the army and the airport now here is your system ready please come and test yourself in the range that mm. stage you could come i thank dr kalam and uh, i am i am even now convinced that if see this uh, uh, kalam type of a leader are art he can be discovered see not that you know you have to create a kalam he was discovered by somebody like uh, davan professor davan discovered kalam to be a good leader he made him a project director so i think the senior scientists senior leaders you know the decision maker should discover kalams wherever they are required and uh, see that they take senior they take good position to build a country develop the country this is what i meant uh, you are we need 10 kalams we need leaders to discover the kalams within the country thank you so sir, sir one last question before we let you go uh so there were initial challenges as well i was reading about the propulsion system which was required for this deep expertise there was propellant chemistry and high speed or aerodynamics which was required for this kind of a system which india had uh, not done before in the past and there were also budget constraints sir you got 300 crores and then you got 500 crores uh, and india despite these fundamental challenges to defend itself managed to create something which is not only efficacious effective but economical as well sir say i want to tell you budget was not a constraint we had 350 crores it was later increased to some 500 crores but we never had a shortage of money we had money there no problem and uh, i want to tell you that for a similar program in the west or in the europe they would have taken 10 times 3000 minimum and what i did in 350 or 400 crores would have costed 5000 crores abroad so that is one thing second is uh, see when we uh, We develop some uh, systems. There will be some uh, corrections required, and the way you correct it, the way you move forward, is the one which matters. Money was not a constraint, and uh, and uh, and not only that, the missile program had been given special financial and administrative freedom and powers. This is one thing which many may not know. When Dr. Kalam was given the task of program director he requested and put up to the government that i need freedom administration financial freedom uh, and also uh, extra uh, freedom to do quick quick purchase of items which are required from anywhere in the world so these three were given to him as a special case as a program director of integrated guided missile development program that helped a lot and when we had to import some components they were given they were they created what is known as special procurement mm. team which kalam had all the freedom to form a team send them abroad you go to a b c d countries place the orders on the same day and come back items will come this spt was a special uh, privilege given to dr kalam right, such sir. things help He helped in very big way, very big way. So it's a pleasure having you, and it's a pride, uh, you know, having somebody like you who's done, uh, you know, this exceptional job for the country. Thank you so much for taking out the time and speaking to us, sir. All the best. Thank you, sir. All right.